Hey shoppers, hope you're having a great weekend. Trying something new with these videos. I had asked on Facebook for you to send me some topics that you were interested in learning about and this first topic comes from Lynn G. She asked about healthy fats and how much do you need. So let's start with the facts. The facts are fats are essential to the diet. We do need fat in our diet. They provide essential fatty acids like omega-3 to omega-6. They help to deliver fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. They're a great source of fuel, nine calories per gram and they make your skin soft so who doesn't want soft skin what you have to be careful of fat has twice the amount of calories per gram as protein or carbohydrates so just because it's healthy doesn't mean we can eat as much as we want so what are healthy fats healthy fats can actually help lower your blood cholesterol levels which can then help pre to prevent heart disease when you're talking about your blood serum levels you've got HDL and LDL. Your HDL is your good cholesterol and your LDL is your bad cholesterol. So our goal through healthy fats is to increase the HDL or the heart healthy fats. You've got monounsaturated and polyunsaturated. You can see the examples listed and the main difference is how many double bonds exist in that chemical compound. Monounsaturated have one polyunsaturated have two double bonds or more double bonds. So when you're looking to choose your healthy fats Look for both mono and polyunsaturated. So how much do you actually need? I tend to recommend 30% uh, of your calories coming from fat. The current recommendations are 10 to 35% of your total calories coming from fat, but it all depends on what sport you're doing or if you're more of an endurance athlete versus a weight training athlete, but I like to stick with 30%. And in this example, you're going to see out of a 1600 calorie diet, you need at least 53 grams of fat per day. Try to get the heart healthy fats and not the saturated fats. And listed below, you'll see it adds up pretty quickly. Um, avocado toast, you're going to get a half, a half avocado with 13 grams of fat. Look at your almonds, look at your salmon. So at the end of the day, you're already at 48 grams of fat. And that doesn't include anything else that you ate during the day. So you really have to be cautious when you're making your meal plans that you're not overeating fat. Try to remember, just because it's healthy doesn't mean it's calorie free. A lot of times we get wrapped up in the organic and healthy and we think, hey, I can eat as much as I want. Unfortunately, all of those food items have calories we have to be careful of. Um, the goal, focus on your heart healthy fats, Try to stay away from the saturated fats. Keep your, you know, your fat levels 30% or under. And, you know, look at choosing nuts over cheese, avocados over bacon, olive oil over corn oil. If you try to make smarter choices throughout the day, you'll be in a great position. Your HDL should start to increase. Your LDL should start to go down. And you're not only getting healthy on the inside, but that will, will reflect on the outside. I hope this helps. We'll see you next week. Take care.